Yeah, I don't see any mouse turds. Pretty nice shelter. <laughs> She's trying. I'm coming down. I'm coming. So I have to brag on this pack a little bit because I started off with a pack weight under 30 pounds. And now my pack is close to 40 pounds and it's also been a very dry stretch. But with that added pack weight, I have to say this pack has done a really good job of still being comfortable. So if you're wanting a more lightweight pack, but you don't have the money to go to all ultralight gear and an ultralight gear pack, then this might be a relatively lighter pack for you to reduce the pack weight like of the pack itself without having to stress too much about what the stuff in your pack weighs. Another thing that I've noticed about this pack is my shoulder isn't hurting. This camera, this big old honking camera here on the Peak Designs clip. My shoulder pain honestly started on the Pacific Crush Trail before I had this camera, uh, but this is the first of the three packs to not cause me pain from carrying this camera on my shoulder. Now, I don't know if the Gossamer Gear Mariposa would carry the weight this well and not cause any shoulder pain because I haven't gotten to test that yet. So I'm really looking forward to seeing if it does cause the pain or not. I know that's weird that I'm excited to see if something causes me pain, but uh, so I'm looking forward to trying that out later in this hike because that really might be the deciding factor. Having gear that doesn't cause you issues and more pain and suffering than necessary is always a good thing. Well, it's gonna be Fun to go through, Fence. You wanna go first so you don't run me over? Go ahead. Come on. You're like, where's the trail? Good girl. Good girl. Now wait. Goodness, the trail just washed right away. Oh, is it missing right there? Oh, I see the little rock. Don't want to fall off right here. <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble! <laughs> it didn't work. We just heard a turkey fly off. It's not funny. What do you make a turkey noise then? <laughs> you can't, exactly. Uh oh. Do you see rocks? Oh no! Uh, this cold and a creek this wide. Get as little wet as possible. I'm gonna take this off so that she has something warm to put on after this. Whoop. Good. Good. Yes. <laughs> there is a random light in the distance. <laughs> what, what is it? It kind of looks like a Christmas tree in a window, but. It might be a campsite with a Christmas might tree. Be, it might just be somebody in their tent and they're wondering why we stopped and we're spotlight. We're, <laughs> we're freaked out. We're freaking them out. Is it a Christmas tree? Maybe it's trail magic. <laughs> I don't like nighttime trail magic. <laughs> Marty. Marty. Would you like to uh to say what what it is? Not a Christmas tree. <laughs> what is it? It's the moon. <laughs> the moon strikes again. <laughs> oh, oh here we 
I'm dying. That is... Okay, below 40 degrees, would not recommend a <laughs> sleeping bag. It was cold. So here's the loftiness of the Agus Max off of Amazon. Not very lofty, I've heard. If you wash it, it lofts up more. But check out Miss May here. She's got that lofty under quilt from a hammock, which fits her perfectly. I can't believe I never thought about that before. So if you have a four-legged hacking bunny, that might be something that works for them. On e. So the idea with this is that you push this part into the little thing right there to push the valve open so that the air can come out. Kind of nifty. I will say for these new shoes that it's really nice. Oh gosh, it's already getting cold and wet. But the cushion here is nice, except for when it's soaked. <laughs> so these don't dry as fast as altars and they hold more water, but otherwise uh, they are pretty cushiony and comfortable. But really that's the only downside that I've noticed. I really like them. They're not cute, but they have done a really, really good job of keeping my feet comfortable. There's enough room in the toe box. I haven't had any issues with blisters. I haven't felt my plantar fasciitis flaring up and I don't have the insoles for PF in my shoes right now. I think that they certainly protected my feet a bit more from the rocks when we were going through the rock garden area. I just know with the ultra lone peaks that I would have felt them more, uh, but I would definitely continue to wear these shoes on trail. Well, we just got started out this morning and uh, point one into the hike, we've already made a wrong turn. <laughs> Went down the creek, down a beaten looking footpath, and uh, found a tent where somebody's evidently living in the woods. They've got their dog crates out there and shampoo and stuff by the creek. I mean, honestly, if I was gonna live in the woods, it was a nice little spot. Do you know that this is the snack bag? Huh? You want a snack? <gasps> what was that? <laughs> what in the world is that? I have never seen any such as that. It's like a hermit crab, but it's a bug. Since leaving the Chihalt Mountain area, the water sources have been, whew, <laughs> the water sources have been much more plentiful and really pretty. There have been a few little waterfalls, but everything's just clear and nice. Not to mention that it's much better to not have to carry a bunch of pounds of water. Oh, she tangled up the whole... Oh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Woohoo! We've 
past mile 100 today of the Pinhoki Trail. Kind of exciting. I don't know. The first 100 miles of any trek, you finally feel like you're getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah. One more time. The third time's the charm. I'm currently hugging my leg while we walk. She loves to stay right there on it. Let's go. <laughs> That's the wrong way. I think when we hop off trail again to do a little gear switcheroo that I will probably take Miss Fancy May home. We're supposed to be getting some rain next week. I just don't want her to be miserable unless she has to be. I think she's had a really good time and the trail just always seems to do her a lot of good. So I'm sure she'll enjoy getting schooled at home by her Aunt Montana just as much. golden hour. Everything looks prettier. And we're night hiking again. <laughs> surprise, surprise. We've only got one mile left though. The big Agnes AXL Air sleeping pad has been pretty comfortable. Uh, it does feel a little cool now that the temperatures are dropping, which makes sense because it's got an R value of two. So it's really rated for three season weather and not these temperatures that we've been having here in Alabama. So I'm switching it out to the Thermarest Neo Air Xtherm, which has an R value of over six, I believe almost to seven, just because I think it will help me stay warmer and I don't mind carrying a little bit extra weight if I can be warm at night. Right now it's cold, but it's only getting colder. Like tonight and season wise. 